So the very first thing you're going to want to do is, depending on where your character is, you're going to want to actually go to your skeletal mesh and right click it and go to create and create a physics asset and just create the asset. So what this is doing here is we're basically going to be controlling and manipulating uh, the collisions on our character to make sure that like it falls um, down in kind of like a... Uh, a decent like rigged stand so that way it's not like popping all over the place so we just kind of like preview um, so if we just simulate here you can kind of see like he drops down and he kind of looks a little wonky especially around like the wrists and stuff so basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go around the collisions and like delete specific areas and like sections here to kind of make sure that there, you know, not simulating. And let me go through this real quick, and uh, I'll bring this back up when I am done. All right. So what I did was I went through and I cut different sections that I didn't want. And when I simulate, you can see that the body is fairly rigged, uh, but yet still kind of gives like a little bit more like free flow to it without being all like janky. So once that's done, we are pretty much all good on sets. So just save and come back in. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag in your asset to the location that you want it to be at. Uh, for this instance, in like this video, I'm just kind of like going to throw this together. So we'll just put this uh, right here above the door. So when our character walks through a trigger box that we're going to put here, it's going to activate this and drop the character down. But what you are going to want to do is you're going to want to come down and check stimulate physics off. And you're also going to want to hide the actor in game and the reason that we do this is if I just um, if I come back up here and re-simulate the physics if I go to simulate we can see that the character just drops and we don't want to do that if I turn the physics off our character won't drop but we can still see him so if I turn the stimulate physics off and if we come down and we turn the actor hidden in game we can't see nor will the character drop. And the reason why is like if we come close and we can't really see this happening, that's going to give it a little bit more immersion. But what we're going to do is within our trigger box, it's going to make both those options come back. So let's do that real quick. What we're going to want to do is going to have a trigger box and just drag this in. And what we're going to want to do is just size this to your uh, location that you are wanting. So we'll just make this a little bit bigger. A little bit taller, so when our character walks in, it's going to start activating this. And the way that we're going to do that is if we come to blueprints and open up our level blueprint with our box selected, we can actually right click, add event to trigger box, and within our collision, we can do a weekend overlap. And so when our character walks into the box, it's going to fire the code that we are going to put here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag off and do once because if we keep walking through the box it's going to keep having the character drop over and over again and it's just it's not going to be um, fun at all we're going to want to come back and select our body and we're going to create a reference to our mannequin and this is where we're actually going to be like starting the process of activating those options that we have turned off so what you're going to do is you're going to drag out set simulate physics and then what we're going to do is we're going to connect that and just check the simulate box to activate the actual uh, physics size of things what we're also going to want to do is we're going to drag out and then do set actor hidden in game and this will allow our actor to become visible once again, when our character steps into that trigger box. Uh, this is where you can add a sound effect if you want, like a thud or like dramatic sound. We're not going to do that for this video, just to save some time. Compile and save. And if you come back, and we actually uh, come to our selected viewport and we play, if I come to the side here, we can see that the asset isn't there, but when we walk into the trigger box, the character falls down from the sky and will make the sound effect if you have that attached. 